call me John right there. Yo, we gotta pick up this rental. What you know about that? Yeah, that ain't mine though. <laughs> Wait till y'all see what I read, dude. <laughs> yeah, boy, we rolling up in a Pacifica. We got that minivan rolling deep like the president. <laughs> Hi, uh, can I have a grilled chicken salad, please? Information, um, based on the particle, each particle, um, one by one. So the key is uh, they can analyze. Getting injected today, four or six. Four, four cc's. Your, your, your parents are getting four, four cc's each. Of so they're getting 20 million, 20 million stem cells. cells. Yeah. We'll talk about what that means as far as the doubling capacity that they have. You guys know what the doubling capacity of stem cells is? No. I just read it, so <laughs> well, we'll go through that today. No, it, 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 all it is is the regenerative uh, capacity that these things have is, is amazing. Okay. Yeah. So a few uh, important points too. So what we use this for is cell characterizations, right? So it analyzes all those things. That data that Michael's talking about that it's pulling off are things like surface. We, we test for a whole panel. So you know, if she's positive for Lyme's disease or any of your HIV's hepatitis. Or That's where everything happens. Yeah, that's where the magic happens. Yeah, so a few things to know in the warehouse. Uh, we make our, um, you can't put water on it right away. Today. Yeah. I mean, what would be the idea? Uh, Kelly Long, and he will tell his first name, Zersak. Zersak. Who is Zersak? <laughs> which um, um, has an interesting history. So here I will introduce you. Here's someone we all know and love is Dr. Mangalo. Thank and this is, this is your group, these are your friends. And again, and, and uh, I call him Dr. Jeff because I, I have given him an honorary, uh, honorary. <laughs> that was deep, everybody was. You said, right now your, your closure was um, oral health, how it affects systemically. That was just, it was pr profound. It, it, it is, and, and I'm just asking you to, to, um, to see where we're going to be going is oral medicine is really going to be the gateway to what I call total systemic health. And before, and before anyone says, well, that's not, that's not our scope. And I'm going to tell you that the American Dental Association describes the scope of dentistry as the treatment of diseases and oral conditions in the mouth and associated structures as it relates to the total body. As it relates to the total body. There's going to be, there's one organization, one part of that little special place. And so, again, so these are just little, just markers. And without doing any kind of good things better than getting it, I guess I'm kidding. Yeah. And without doing
Yeah, the kid with the bib, right? Yeah, you should. And we get another one there with my friend Jeff. It's kind of funny though. You're Think about it. The first mill is easy because you can just pull. Pull just straight down. The second mill is tough because you have to tip and then watch the uh, watch the material kind of kind of come in and then keep on pulling until you hear like a little like a slurping sound. That's pretty much it. Yeah, okay. I came to the stem cell uh, program because uh, I suffer from uh, sciatic nerve uh, discomfort. And also, I uh, started having the, uh, uh, my feet uh, are getting numb, especially the, uh, the left, left foot is it's getting numb, uh, tickling on my toes. And also the right toes also. But the one that hurts more is the uh, left side, left leg. And um, I've been trying to keep uh, exercising and uh, having some uh, therapies, uh, chiropractors. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm hoping that the stem cells are gonna do a better job. My back. That's the expectation. There we go. It's about 4:20, November 22nd. We'll do a follow-up in a couple of hours.